Welcome to Birmingham, England's second most populous city after London. We're here to review the X-T3. Now I know it looks like an X-T2, but today I'm gonna tell you why I think the insides of this camera make it the most exciting and compelling mirrorless offering of 2018. Welcome to the Bull Ring. Um, I know that's kind of a stereotypical place to come if you're familiar with Birmingham, but we don't really know Birmingham, so it was sort of just, that's what we know. We'll start from there and work our way out. There are a lot of things of architectural interest, however, in the center of Birmingham, including this building that Selfridges is in. You will notice that, that some of the footage is gonna be a little bit weather dependent, just because it's a little bit wet, it's a little bit windy, so we're gonna to need to sort of work within those conditions. However, I am not concerned about the X-T3. The camera body is weather sealed, it is robust, as is the line of lenses that come with it, the XF lenses, uh, and also the, uh, the, did I say the battery grip? I don't know if I said the battery grip or not, but camera's weather sealed. It's a rugged camera. You can take it anywhere and do anything with it. A little bit of wind, a little bit of water is not going to hurt you when you're when you're out shooting with the X-T3. Uh, and I think that's something that we've come to expect with Fujifilm X-T cameras anyway. Just a quick note while we're here shooting in the bull ring, something I'm really enjoying on the back of the Fujifilm X-T3 is the joystick that allows me to change my autofocus point while looking through the electronic viewfinder. Now the EVF on this camera gives you an astounding 3.69 million dots of clarity and all the menu information is readily available to your eye as you're peering through it. Something else to note is the EVF stands back a little bit further on this camera, only a minute three millimeters, but it gives you a little extra room to breathe when you're looking through and you're shooting through this camera. This viewfinder features a refresh rate of 60 frames per second, but when you put the camera into boost mode, you can boost that number up to 100 frames per second. Wildlife photographers rejoice. Now, something that also is important to note about this camera is you don't need the external or the additional battery grip to access that boost mode. It comes on the X-T3 as a standard option, so you don't need to worry about not having features without having the extra kit. One of the standout features of this camera has to be the new autofocus system. It has 2.16 million AF points spread across the entirety of the frame. The new system delivers faster focus response for subject tracking and also supports face and eye detection autofocus while you're shooting continuously and while you're using video. Fujifilm says that it can keep up with the big boys like Sony and Nikon. We're gonna try some video and we're gonna try some stills just to see whether or not it works. This will be where the tests come in. The system is supposed to work with the continuous shooting at up to 11 frames per second with the mechanical shutter but it's also supposed to work at 30 frames per second in a 1.25 times crop factor format when you're using that sort of sports boost mode. And you'll be able to use it while you're shooting 4K at up to 60p internally and externally. That is a huge improvement on the previous cameras. It is vast improvement over even the X-H1, which was supposed to be their major video offering. So let's take some sample footage with this camera. Video buffs should be more than satisfied with 4K 60p, 420 10-bit internal recording, and also 4K 60p, 422 10-bit external recording via HDMI output. Pros and multimedia creators will also be glad to know video files can be saved using either MPEG-4 AVC H.264 or HEVC H.265 compressions. Next to that precious 10-bit color depth, we also have F-Log. I can't go into much detail about F-Log, safe to say it does it and provides professionals who know what they're doing with a flat picture that can be color graded in post to maximize dynamic range and give them flexibility uh, when working in difficult environments. Adjust highlights, shadows, color, and sharpness, etc. 
Additional video features we're really happy about are the upgraded audio facilities, the improved preamps, and the multitude of options for checking focus while you're shooting stills and video. Just stood outside of Grand Central train station in Birmingham, basking in this little spot of sunlight. Um, we were wondering why it was so busy, then we realized it was a train station. Uh, something I wanted to mention about this camera really quick was the 26.1 megapixel X-Trans CMOS sensor has four times more phase detection AF points on it than previous iterations. It's also one of the highest resolution APS-C sensors available. This fourth generation 26.1 megapixel CMOS sensor from Fujifilm is actually one of the highest resolution APS-C sensors available. It also features the same Fujifilm color science we've come to know and love and features enhanced control over moire and a boost ISO range of 160 to 1200, 12,800. So battery life in this camera is maybe a little bit lackluster. You get 390, 400 shots out of the NP it's an NP-W126S battery, which is an old model. But still, 400 shots really isn't too bad from the mirrorless camera. I've seen cameras come out this year with far less. What results in the loss of battery life is that new quad-core processor responsible for boost AF performance and the, uh, the improvement just to the CPU, which processes imagery now three times faster than the X-T2 and the X-H1. These are statistics that I got from Fujifilm. In order to compensate for that loss in battery life, Fujifilm have, of course, released the X-T3 battery grip. With that, you'll get two additional batteries, so you get three times as much battery life out of the camera. Um, and you have the, the secondary shutter release and all the function buttons that go along with that that make it easy to switch shooting orientations rapidly. Uh, and it just aids in ergonomics, really. It's just something more to grip on the camera. Another reason you're gonna wanna probably pick up that battery grip with this camera, especially if you plan on shooting video with this camera, is it now shoots 4K, 420, 10-bit straight to the internal SD card, which is awesome. But that is gonna drain your batteries, and especially a smaller battery like that. So you're definitely gonna, well, you may wanna pick up that battery grip with the two additional batteries. It's just gonna extend the life of the camera a little bit. We do retail that, so check the link in the description. I think it goes for something like 299. Something to mention about that battery grip, which is unique to this camera as well, is on the X-T2, you had to buy the vertical grip in order to get the boost functionality on the camera, which I think increased the continuous shooting frame rate. On this camera, boost mode is included, and I think it's responsible for that electronic viewfinder refresh rate of 100 frames per second, which sports photographers, wildlife photographers, anybody shooting rapid subject matter is gonna be extremely grateful of. I think that's one of the good things about the X-T3 is it, as a package, is ready to go out of the box with such great functionality. So quickly before we left, I just wanted to give a demonstration of what the image stabilization on this camera is like. There is no five axis in body image stabilization, so you are relying on the image stabilization that comes from Fujifilm's XF lenses. Uh, this is me walking around the parking lot before we head out of Birmingham and just demonstrating what, what that footage looks like and how stable it is. I do have the camera on top of a Joby and there's a shotgun mic attached to the top. So that about wraps it up for the Fujifilm X-T3 and our review in Birmingham today. We have done our best to provide you with as much sample imagery and video footage as possible. We're gonna gather a little bit more before we take off. If you have any questions about the features on this camera, please leave them in the comment section. Also, let us know what you think about this camera. I am personally of the opinion that this is probably the most compelling mirrorless offer this year, just because it comes with the dual SD card slots, all the video functionality, a headphone jack, a mic jack, 1080p, 120, 4K, 60, and it records it internally. It does everything. If you, like myself, believe that Fujifilm have made the most compelling mirrorless offering of 2018 and you feel like purchasing this camera, we're gonna leave a link in the description where you can get it from our website. Uh, if you enjoyed the review today, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for future Clifton Cameras content.